Burrito, 10 Easter eggs you'll only notice on a rewatch. Burrito's Easter eggs don't only go back to Naruto, but to other pieces of media as well that some fans may have missed on their first go-round. Being a sequel to a series with as much hype and love behind it as Naruto is no easy feat Boruto, Naruto Next Generations has stepped up to the plate and in the eyes of many fans. Is delivering well after a somewhat rocky and polarizing start. Of course, with a sequel series to a prequel with so much history behind it, there are sure to be tons of references and Easter eggs hidden within Boruto. However, Boruto's Easter eggs don't only go back to Naruto, but to other pieces of media as well that some fans may have missed on their first go-round. 10. Yodo as a Daydara Lookalike Once the young character, Yodo, appeared in episode 55 of the Boruto anime, she drew a lot of comparisons to Ino due to her similar hairstyle and same colored hair. However, this member of Team Shinki actually looks a lot more like another Naruto character. Kishimoto stated that when designing her he wanted to create a punk rock, inspired character. However, many fans look at her and immediately see Daidara, as their facial features, from the eyes to their hair, look greatly similar. 9. Sarada threw a demon wind shuriken which was actually Boruto using transformation jutsu, the same strategy their fathers used on Zabuza. Naruto fans will always go on about how the battle against Zabuza made for one of the highlights and hooking points of the original series. The scene with Sasuke's usage of the demon wind shuriken is ingrained in the minds of many and really made the arc all the more epic, giving Sasuke one of the coolest moments and weapons in early Naruto. Of course, Boruto couldn't help but throw in an Easter egg referencing this fight featuring Naruto and Sasuke's children pulling a page out of their book directly from this battle. Earlier in the series, Sarada threw a demon wind shuriken which was actually Boruto using transformation jutsu, the same strategy their fathers used on Zabuza. 8. Boruto copying Sasuke's style Many fans are aware that Boruto has a knack for ripping off Sasuke's style due to Sasuke being his mentor. One scene in the series truly drove that home for any classic Naruto fan that had a good enough eye to notice. Iwabi's battle against Boruto helped mark the beginning of the new era of ninja and featured a lot of callbacks to the previous era. One of those callbacks was Boruto directly copying the fighting style of Sasuke during his practice battle against his team leader. Kakashi 7. Boruto copying his father's style. Of course, being a mentor is nowhere near being the flesh and blood to Boruto. Meaning that it's obvious that sooner or later the son is going to steal some tricks from his father whether he realized it or not. Which was the case during the Iwabi fight. Naruto has a signature kick that was not only used to save Sasuke from Gara in the original series but was also used to save Guy in Naruto Shippuden. Boruto took this page from his father's book and delivered this kick to the new era of the series against Iwabi. 6. It's quite hilarious that the writers remembered Naratonic after all this time. Naruto Shippuden's 10th ending is one that constantly lived on in the minds of fans. Not only did it have an insane amount of style, but it also introduced a drink that became a popular meme in the Naruto community. That drink was Naratonic, which only appeared in this ending. Well, apparently Naruto becoming Hokage led to more than him getting his face carved in the mountain. As this drink named after him has become a real thing. 5. There is a throwback shot featuring Boruto his mentor Sasuke, referencing the time Naruto returned to the village after having been away training. There are so many moments in Boruto that serve as little throwbacks to single shots and panels of the series before it. One of those shots absolutely amazed fans and it appeared at the end of Boruto episode 128 as the final shot of the episode. This shot featured Boruto and his mentor, Sasuke. Looking down on the hidden leaf village. 
This shot references the time Naruto returned to the village after having been away to train and when Sasuke finally returned after growing up. The reference to Sasuke's past and Naruto's growth with comparison to where the duo and Naruto's son is now is absolutely breathtaking. 4. Opening 7-8 paid direct homage to two of the most iconic intros in the series. Boruto's 7th and 8th opening sequences left nostalgic Naruto fans in awe as they paid direct homage to two of the most iconic intros in the series. Fans everywhere lost their minds and even collected the references and put them side by side. 3. Sakura, Winter Soldier One thing that no Naruto fan would expect was a reference, if not a complete redraw, of a scene from the MCU. Sakura's battle against Shin is just about a shot-for-shot -shot and action-for-action -action copy of Captain America's battle against Bucky from Captain America, Winter Soldier. 2. Boruto to the Future Marvel movies aren't the only Western film references that Boruto pulls out of the series' pocket either. During the time travel arc, Sasuke and Boruto don outfits that serve as direct references to Marty McFly and Doc Brown from the Back to the Future series. 1. Boruto, Edge of the Ninjaverse References to other films can also be seen during a certain ending of Boruto, ending 15 to be exact. This ending titled, Answers, used CGI animation and a color palette that is very similar to that used in Spider-Man, Edge of the Spider-Verse. To drive that home, the ending even uses the same frame rate used in the film. <laughs>